Hello everybody, how are we doing? This video is going to be my stocking filler gift guide for 2018. I did one of these last year and I still stand by all the products I featured in that video. But this year I have mentioned in my other gift guide, like bigger gifts, I mentioned that I wanted to kind of put the focus on smaller brands and um, there are some more mainstream brands in here as well, but I wanted to feature some more kind of like indie and smaller brands. So yeah, I'm going to get cracking. I've got my blanket here, I'm nice and cosy got a cup of tea, let's get straight on into it with makeup. First up, Evolve Beauty have released these little lip shines, so they're these cardboard stars and then inside they have these little metal tin lip balms and they're actually really good, sometimes I'm not a fan, I'm very picky when it comes to lip balms and I've been using this one, I wanted to test it out to make sure the product was good and it is actually really really nourishing and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it as well, so it's got added shimmer with organic cocoa butter, rose and vanilla. But you can also kind of hang them on your tree or if you've got people coming over like for Christmas Day or even I suppose New Year's you could use these as well. Hang them on the wine glass or place setting kind of thing, maybe write their names on them. Next up, a couple of products from Antonym. I wanted to mention this brand in particular and a couple of other brands that have some sort of more natural packaging. These have got sort of wooden bamboo casing. I think makeup is a really nice gift to have in a stocking because you can get kind of more affordable things they're quite small they fit in a stocking you know and they're actually really nice like I like getting things in a stocking that I would actually use that are practical as opposed to just gimmicky because I think growing up we got a lot of just kind of you know stocking filler stuff that's just plasticky and not really of any use but whereas makeup obviously you're going to use. I think this baked blush would make a lovely little stocking filler. It's a very subtle shade and the other thing that I think would make a really nice kind of Christmassy stocking filler is their no Noisette palette. Um, this has got four shades and they're all kind of like warm warm shades but you've got the burgundy in there, you've got a nice kind of white gold and yeah I think those make lovely little stocking fillers. They come nicely packaged as well. And the last few products I wanted to mention in terms of makeup are lip products. I think everybody loves a lip product. So um, a couple of brands I wanted to mention. Again in terms of packaging um, this brand is really good. They're called Cupid and Psyche. These are their cream lip colours and these were created by a fashion photographer. She uses them on set. They do have a plastic little tubing here but they come packaged in cardboard mostly. Like most of the packaging is made up of cardboard and they've got loads of different shades. They're all natural. They come nice again nicely packaged in a cardboard box. They are quite hard so if you live somewhere that's quite cold they take a bit of warming up but I think because they are quite sheer and you can then build them up I think these would be nice. Like I say obviously everything in this video is a nice stocking filler. I've got to stop saying that would make a lovely stocking filler because everything would make a lovely stocking filler in this video in my humble opinion and then the last lip product I wanted to mention Pacifica I love their enlightened glosses I've actually got this on today this is the shade beach kiss I feel like again a gloss is quite a universally flattering product the Fenty Beauty lip glow would make a nice stocking filler as well again cruelty free and vegan but this is a natural product and I also feel like their lip glosses would be good for a younger like maybe someone who's like 11 or 12 starting to get into makeup I know some parents don't like their kids wearing makeup so I feel like a lip gloss is quite a sort of natural makeup product to gift someone and the packaging is kind of like kid appropriate if you know what I mean and also something that could be for kids or for adults I wanted to mention is this brand Eco Stardust so they do biodegradable glitter and I've actually got the gold this gold one on my eye at the moment I wore this to my Christmas party and people loved it like it was such a crowd pleaser I feel like glitter is not for a particular age but I just thought this would be a really nice idea if you did want to buy someone who was slightly younger I feel like a lot of stocking fillers that are aimed at children are quite you know are very full of plastic let's be real whereas these these are made from plant cellulose it comes with a little beauty balm as well you can get the balm like adhesive and a brush to actually apply the glitter I definitely recommend the gold shade but they also do this kind of like turquoise shade they do a more of a pinky toned one and I have really really sensitive eyes and I find these don't irritate my eyes at all I don't get any glitter in my eyes the fall down is minimal if you wanted it to be really really adhesive you could just use a glitter glue something like the Too Faced glitter glue and I've just seen on the back here it says 10% of profits go to environmental charities that's great. Sorry, I just turned the light on because it was getting a little bit dark. But I wanted to mention more of a mainstream option. So Superdrug have got loads of little gift sets like this one. This is the Lolly Lip Glass set. And I think, again, this would make quite a good gift to someone who's a little bit younger. It is quite plastic heavy. These kind of gift sets, they are quite plastic heavy. But I did want to mention the, these kind of sets because they've got Makeup Revolution sets which you can check on the Tan Beauty website whether they're vegan or not. They've also got um, cruelty free perfume little sets, the Bloom range. So yeah, maybe check out Superdrug if you want more of a mainstream, easier to access option and you don't want to order online. I think a makeup brush makes a really nice stocking filler and they're actually quite inexpensive. I wanted to mention some of my favourite ones um, in this video but you can get Eco Tools do um, like wooden handled uh, makeup brushes so if you don't want to buy plastic brushes because these two have got plastic uh, are they plastic? or is that wood? it's hard to tell isn't it? I actually think that's wood 
But um, yeah, if you want more of an eco-friendly option, then maybe check out Eco Tools. So these two you can get at Superdrug. This is the B Powder Brush. I also recommend their blending brush. I think these are such lovely, high-quality brushes. Really inexpensive. They're usually always on a special offer. You know how Superdrug always does, like three for two offers or half off offers. Um, also, Elf you can get at Superdrug as well. Elf are a cruelty-free and vegan brand, and this is their complexion brush. I've had this for ages. I love using this for bronzer and blush. I think if you've got someone who's maybe not, not that fussed about makeup, but still you wears makeup. I think this is a really good multi-purpose brush. Also Zoeva do some really nice uh, cruelty free and vegan brushes. Not all of their brushes are vegan so make sure you check the description because you do have to order these online but they're such good quality. I've had these for I think it was 2014. So a good four years I use these all of the time. This is their smudger brush and this is their rose gold silk finish brush. Another kind of brush I wanted to mention is a bamboo toothbrush. Now I feel like these are actually really easy to get hold of nowadays. This one is from Eco Wonder Store. Um, they've got loads of good gift ideas on there. They've also got bamboo straws which are really really cool. I've never tried a bamboo straw but I'd be very intrigued to try. Bamboo is a very sustainable material. If you don't know much about it, it grows really easily. It doesn't need pesticides it's a nice renewable material you can kind of encourage people to be more sustainable if you kind of gift them a reusable straw or like gift them a reusable cup so yeah i think that's a good idea i also think a perfume is a good idea for a stocking filler now i feel like perfume is very personal so i wanted to mention these two because um pacifica do some very sort of basic perfumes these are actually quite expensive they're 20 pounds which is quite a lot for quite a small bottle but i do think they make nice gifts they come nicely boxed as with as with the eden perfumes as well um, but this is their vanilla perfume and i feel like a lot of their scents are quite basic they don't have a load of notes to them if you know what i mean it's just straight up vanilla or fig or um what else do they do coconut nectar sort of sweeter scents if you've got anybody in your life who likes the more kind of sweeter perfumes they've definitely got something for them also eden perfumes i've talked about a million times before if you are doing a stocking for someone who isn't vegan but wears a particular scent eden perfumes will dupe that scent and make it more natural and cruelty free and vegan so this is actually this is a men's cologne this is actually a gift i got for someone so i'm gonna put this away so <laughs> probably shouldn't have opened that but oh well um yeah you can get men's scents unisex scents women's scents I mean, a perfume is a perfume, isn't it? But perfumes make lovely little stocking fillers, in my opinion. Skincare, a great stocking filler. And I'll tell you for why. I feel like Christmas time, I like to think of Christmas as a time where you get gifts of things that you wouldn't necessarily, things that you'd love, but you wouldn't necessarily purchase for yourself, you know? Um, or if you do, then it's kind of, a, it's a real treat. And I feel like skincare, for me, is like a real treat because I mean it can get pricey. A couple of brands I wanted to mention, a couple of more mainstream ones first and then a really really sweet brand that's got a lovely story behind it. So Pi are a lovely vegan and cruelty free brand. Really really good products for sensitive skin. This one I wanted to mention, their sensitive, no what's it called? Their gentle eye cream, Etchium and Argan. I feel like this would slip really nicely into a stocking, it's a good size. And the other product I've got from them here to show you is their Rosehip Bioregenerate Oil Omegas 3, 6, 7 and 9 all the omegas i don't know if that is all the omegas but many omegas um and this is it's got a bit of a cult following like people love this product i haven't been using it long enough to say that it's like revolutionized my skin but i do know that rosehip oil is really really good if you know anyone who's got um discoloration like acne or scarring that kind of thing then yeah would recommend rosehip oil and then bybee are a brand that i've talked about before um this is their babe balm which is a multi-purpose balm these come packaged in biodegradable tubes so they are made from sugar cane it's not it's like a bioplastic and the packaging is recycled as well recycled and recyclable and if you're filling a stocking for someone who likes that kind of like glossier kind of vibe the plumper and buffer duo would make such a nice gift this is just made for a stocking also by be have released uh, makeup bags as well which are made from paper like recycled paper but you can use them as an actual clutch bag and i feel like they'd they'd look amazing in a stocking or even as a gift you can buy the bags and put like make a little personalized skincare set and the more you buy the more discount you get which is a really good offer because like it, again it's not cheap skincare this season's greetings holiday set from by sarah is so sweet i feel like this might fit in a stocking depending on how big your stocking is yeah that would fit that would fit it would take up quite a lot of the stocking depending on the size i find it interesting how like different people have different 
uh, stockings and sizes. Some people have like pillowcases as their stocking. Some people have like smaller ones. It's, it's interesting. I find like different people's versions of Christmas really intriguing. Another story for another time. But this brand is really, really sweet. It was actually born out of the founder's sister got leukemia. And as she was recovering, they were looking for products that were gonna be nice and natural. They weren't gonna have any sort of nasty chemicals in them. And they found that the, even for like organic brands and more natural brands, the ingredients lists were really, really hard to read. So the founder started to make her own products and yeah she released this brand they are vegan and leaping bunny certified and they've got no parabens no sulfates no silicones no petroleum mineral oils synthetic ingredients fillers artificial fragrance colors or dyes i mean it's got a lovely story behind the brand but the actual products are really they're just lovely like very bougie you get a cleansing balm which i haven't actually tried yet but i'm very intrigued to because it is a clay cleansing balm green clay cleansing balm you get an organic lip balm and a little face oil as well and the last skincare related thing i wanted to mention are reusable face wipes these ones are actually by an etsy shop ella bella makery and these are little crochet rounds which come with a bag that you can wash them in put them in the um what's it called washing machine <laughs> Duh. i think these would be quite good for like taking off a mask or like exfoliating around the nose they're not rough but they're actually no they're not rough but you know they're a little bit more coarse than like a really really soft bamboo cotton. I also think nail varnish makes a great stocking filler and these are two which I really really recommend. This is the Orly Breathable Treatment and Colour. This is like a base coat, colour and top coat. This one is a little bit gloopy now because I've had it for over a year but it's still got life in it. It's very, very opaque. The color is light as a feather, but I really recommend this range, um, the breathable range especially, and you can get these at Superdrug. Also, the packaging is great. It's got this rubber grip lid. I think I've mentioned this in a favorites video. Also, Zoya, this is a Leaping Bunny certified uh, nail varnish range and they are again a bit more natural as well I think they're like five free so free of the five top toxins that are in nail varnishes this is the shade Taylor and I've got it on my nails at the moment and it hel holds up really really well I haven't heard anybody say a bad thing about Zoya polishes and obviously you can get sort of more Christmassy shades as well those are just two shades that I had in my collection I wanted to show you um, and a brand I mentioned in my gift guide video my bigger gift guide video this is the brand MOA Magic Organic Apothecary they're a really nice Brighton based skincare brand they do bigger versions of their products and they have a couple of kind of smaller sizes so this is their green bath potion um, I've used this before in my bath and it smells amazing when I first smelt it I thought it smelt like like um, Olbus oil you know that oil you have when you're ill but oh my gosh when it's in the bath it's so great. If you want something a bit more refreshing than like lavender and unwinding and relaxing, I highly recommend this. It's peppermint, fennel and fir needle and it is very Christmassy, like it's a nice Christmassy scent but it does have that kind of menthol tinge to it. But yeah, it's nice and refreshing and also they do face oils. I think a face oil makes, like I say, skincare a really nice bougie gift. This is their Aphrodite facial oil. I also love the branding. Like, look how beautiful that artwork is. Also a lip balm that they do. And I just feel like it's, I love smaller brands because the branding just seems so much more artistic. This is a generalization, but I feel like the, just everything about them is a bit more personal and just a bit more unique. So yeah, I'll link their website down below. This is one of their lip balms as well that you can also use on your hands. Other than skincare, I feel like health related products are practical gifts that you maybe wouldn't buy yourself or if you did it'd be a bit like oh here we go like gonna have to fork out 15 pound for some b12 and obviously not everyone who's vegan is deficient in b12 but a lot of people are a lot of the population not just vegan like a lot of people are deficient in b12 or like vitamin d things like that and i just feel like it might sound like a bit of a weird stocking filler but i would like to receive it because then I don't have to spend my own money on it and it's something that I kind of need. I'll link these down below because they're just kind of like a vitamin D spray and a little B12 drop that you put on your on the bottom of your tongue. Um, and these are both vegan and cruelty free. Well, this one's vegetarian, but it doesn't have any vegan ingredients in it. And I know that kind of medicines and health products, sometimes you can't find certified cruelty free vitamins and things like that. And I feel like with shopping cruelty free, it's like shopping cruelty free as much as you can possibly do. Like I still take medication that isn't, cruelty free certified if you know what I mean and also I feel like things like maca powder and matcha tea uh, they're very expensive like this is about a 10 I got this from Naturissimo and this one from Holland and Barrett this is the brand Bloom again it's vegan and like organic I feel like these would make really lovely gifts for someone who is a little bit more health conscious or wants to be a bit more healthy things that you can add to smoothies like flax seeds and things like that like I said it might sound weird to have as a stocking filler but I think these would make great gifts like this is so great if you want something that's going to give you energy throughout the day and boost your mood I've been having these as a drink with a little bit of cashew milk especially when January rolls around when people are trying to get 
more healthy like once Christmas is over because unfortunately Christmas does end like I know it'd be great to have it every day but Christmas ends and then people are like right gonna join the gym new year new me hashtag new me this has a nice kind of like caramelly flavor very pleasant. This, not so pleasant to drink, but I like the effect it gives, if you know what I mean. And then the last things I wanted to mention are actually in this stocking. So, I wanted to give a little shout out to some candle related products, because I love candles. Everybody, I've never met someone who doesn't like candles. Um, if you don't know, um, a lot of candles, like Yankee candles, are made with petroleum or paraffin wax, which I think is a byproduct of petroleum. So not so great to breathe in, but I wanted to mention a couple of brands that use, you know, more natural ingredients. So this is the Isle of Sky Candle Company. They sell these in Whole Foods and this burns really, really cleanly. It doesn't look that clean, but this is where I've tried to like light it with a match and I burnt it at the side. So that's my bad. But yeah, I really like this. It's a lovely kind of musky, more natural, subtle scent. Really like that one. It's lasted really well. And I don't know how many hours it's supposed to, oh, 30 hours. 30 hours and that's about 10 pound uh, these ones are about 12 pounds so these are the vegan bunny peppermint tea no vegan bunny soy candles but this is the peppermint tea one they do uh, chai latte pumpkin pie mold wine is another scent they've got for christmas they're plastic free packaging they come really nicely packaged this came with a little candy cane as well which obviously you can just include in the stocking so like two presents in one and then the last thing i wanted to mention is not necessarily eco-friendly or cruelty free but i think a power bank makes a really good stocking filler this is an anchor power Power bank and if you don't know what is, this is it's like extra power for your phone or your device and this probably holds I've had this for over a year and it holds about 12 charges it is a little bit heavy like it's not super light but it's not ridiculously heavy the heavier the bank is the more power charges it will give you I wanted to recommend anchor because I have tried sort of like smaller ones more lighter ones cheaper ones basically and they just they don't last very long and they I feel like they're very kind of disposable so I feel like investing in something that's maybe a little bit more expensive but it's going to last a bit longer is a bit more eco-friendly so i wanted to recommend anchor as a good brand to go for they do smaller ones as well which i think will do about four charges um but yeah this big one it slips nicely in your bag and yeah it's a nice convenient size and yeah that is pretty much it for my stocking filler gift guide video for 2018 you know i really hope that was useful i hope you got some ideas some inspiration if you want to shop with any of these brands i'll link their like websites down below so you can have a little browse also check out etsy check out like local shops and businesses even like local tea coffee beer that kind of thing i think shopping local is great and oh actually speaking of etsy i wanted to mention francesca delderfield this is someone that i follow on instagram but she does she's an illustrator and she makes cards and zines and um, little notebooks as well out of recycled paper they're just beautiful and if you like kind of like dusky pink and like handwritten ha like just handmade goodies i would i think her stuff would make amazing stocking fillers and it's not too expensive at all like she does these a5 notebooks for pretty and expensive and yeah she's got five star reviews on etsy so the people have spoken she's great i highly recommend i'll link her instagram down below as well she's got some great she does really nice stories and i always find out interesting things like eco-friendly posts from her because she's really good at sharing them getting the word out there anyway um that's it for my stocking filler gift guide i really hope you enjoyed and if you did maybe give this video a cheeky little thumbs up and yeah that's pretty much it, so thank you so much for watching. All the best for 2019, and hopefully I shall see you very soon. Bye.